standing outside Lloyd's building and beautiful, incredible, interesting design here, very industrial looking. Interesting that they're doing some work around the entrance, they're scaffolding up, but the scaffolding kind of looks like it's part of the architecture of the building. This here marks the grave of a young Roman girl. This was discovered when all this was being put up and uh, nobody knows really anything about her. She died sometime between 350 and about 400 AD, so right near the end of Roman Britain. She wasn't buried with any grave goods, so we don't know whether she was a Roman citizen or a slave or a visitor. But it says here, to the spirits of the dead, the unknown young girl from Roman London lies buried here. No other graves were found in the area, so this was just a, a lone grave of a, a little girl. It's incredible that outside this very modern, very iconic Gherkin building, the echoes of the past are never far away. I was really keen to see this, this uh, place here. It's um, another, another one of those out of the way places that only the locals know about. Well, this is the church I wanted to visit, St. Helen's Bishop's Gate. They're supposed to open at 9.30, but as I've been finding with a lot of churches here in London, what they say on the website is not the same as what actually happens on the ground. This place isn't going to open until 12.30 today. So, you know, I'm not going to hang around all morning, so I'm going to do something else. Really would have liked to have had a look in there. I might still be able to, but it's a long way to go to come back. Um, apparently, this was the place where Shakespeare used to worship now walking along London Wall Road. As the name suggests, the northern part of the Roman Wall around London goes along this street. There's a church up ahead where apparently the wall is part of the church or incorporated into it in some way. So I'm just going to go and have a look. This doorway behind me apparently was the entrance to the tower originally and the Roman wall is just over that side over there. It was a nunnery here as well. It was originally a hospital, a sort of hospital church nunnery and it was for the homeless blind people apparently and the guy who set it up to help them eventually died in the plague in the 14th century. And here it is part of the Roman wall. Now, the upper sections here, that's medieval. There's fragments of the wall at different places throughout London. There's not much of it left, but there's little bits and pieces you can still see. I really wanted to see this one. And I did. Pretty cool, huh? There's a um, walkway up there. I wonder how I get up there. Just got up to this walkway and I was looking at the tower and just through the hole in the wall there, you can see some stairs going up to what may have been a bell tower originally. Never thought I'd live to see the day, a quiet road in London. Makes a nice change. Actually, no, it's a bit eerie. found this little alleyway, it's called Ball Court, and I had a look, and take a look down there, see if you can see it. It's a place called Simpsons, looks like a, I don't know what it is, a lot of books in there, probably a pub. Wow, Simpsons Tavern, 1757. Wow. Look at this. Keeps going. This... Have to leave a trail of breadcrumbs. Found another one. This one's called Bengal Court. And... I'm really just letting the roads and alleyways take me where 
they lead and I'm exploring Michael's alleyway, something like that. Well, I'm near St. Michael's Cornhill Church, which is right here, St. Michael's Cornhill, and this is the church ground for it. Now, there's no tombstones in here, but I'm sure there's bodies under under the ground. Just one of those little places I found. I didn't intend to come here. And uh, over here, there are some graves right next to the church. You can see those there. It's, it's a little space. It's encircled all the way around. It's wonderful. Leyden Hall Market. Beautiful. Absolutely. I've come a long way to see this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back on the plane again. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well I've just arrived at a hairdresser's here at Leaden Hall and the lovely lady upstairs has just said I could come downstairs and see a little secret that they've got down here. So there's some there's a Roman wall down here somewhere. There's there must be a light somewhere. Probably it. Ah, there it is. This is part of the Roman Basilica. Oh my god, wow. What a thing to have in your hairdressers. The Basilica housed Roman London's town hall and law courts and stood next to the Forum, the Central Market. Originally built in AD 70. 1870, it was enlarged around 1890 to 120 and became the largest such building north of the Alps. There, this must be where I am right now. That's the actual pier base. So that's where the shop is. The hairdresser is where I am now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 